Hi, it's Angel Chaber, Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator from Kansas. And today we are making card number two with the Hippo Happiness stamp set. Here's the stamp set. We're actually using the hippo today, which is pretty exciting. Put that aside, and I'll shoot you down, and we'll just get started. I have to make sure that I can see on the computer, so I can make sure that you are seeing where I'm working. And I think think maybe I have everything set up today. We will see how that works. Okay. We are using the Hippo Happiness Stamp Set. We're using purples. Um, I have Fresh Freesia and Highland Heather. Get this set up here in a minute. Going to do our stamping first. I have laid out all of my different images on stamping blocks. And we will also need the Tuxedo Black Memento ink for the face. Okay. We grab a little piece of the basic white. This is what I'm going to use to stamp my hippo on. And then I'll probably stamp another one on the inside of my thick basic white. I'm going to start by stamping the Fresh Freesia for the overall hippo because that's what will peek out in the openings here after it when we stamp the other stamp on there. Now, if I don't like the fresh freesia, I will switch to like a gray. His main body color is going to be Highland Heather. And we're just looking for something that would match. I'm just laying it over. You can use the stamp apparatus that does help you line them up a little better. I like the fresh freesia. So I'm going to pull it back out because we're going to stamp another hippo on the inside of the car. Fresh Freesia away for now. I don't think we'll be using it again. Line up my Highland Heather over my Hippo. I like that combination. And then we are going to put the face on both hippos with the Tuxedo Black Memento ink. And 
And there's my inside cute little hippo. Set that aside for now. And we'll do this hippo. Set that aside until we cut it out. My sentiment strip just jumped to the ground. So there it is. This is a half inch strip. And we are going to be using the Pick a Banner Punch to make it um, fancy. I'm going to stamp it in the Highland Heather. I'm going to stamp it kind of in the middle because I'm going to decide exactly how much of it I need. And set that over to the side for now. Okay, and then I'm getting my mini Stampin' Cut and Emboss Machine. And I am doing I need the big one. I just realized that my die cut is not too big for my mini stamp and cut and emboss, but my piece of paper is. sure my strength is up to the bigger one today, but that's what we have to, to work with. So I have the bigger stamp and cut and emboss machine, and I'm putting the base plate and the die cutting plate and the cutting plate. And then I will be cutting out two things from what is the card front layer. I will be cutting out the frame. And the bow I will be cutting out with its die as well. Oops, that slipped. Let me try to get Make sure that it stays where it's supposed to. Sometimes a piece of washi tape will hold it. Move 
dies over and my little cut pieces. Now, I, this is our card front layer, but I will also be saving the part that was cut out to use on a different card. And then we have our little hippo. Okay. Now what we're doing, this is a window behind our card front layer. And I am trying to decide if I am using the pretty gray or the metallic. I think we're going to do the gray, which means I'm going to put some glue around the top part of the cutout frame and glue this on. Hopefully, I left enough space not glued down that I can slip in the hippo. There is our window created. And I'm going to go ahead and put some dimensionals on the back of the hippo. hippo's head and just try to slip him in the window. Yep, he fit right in there. So there's our hippo peeking through the window. Let's finish the sentiment i have another place to frame it so i'm gonna grab the um banner punch and we're going to slip in hip hippo hooray punch that out That did not punch well. That was better. And then the next size up to make a fancy little um, frame for this, we'll punch that banner. And I'm trying to decide about how big I want this. We're going to cut this off right behind the exclamation point. that that's about three inches so we will clip this one off at about or there right there if this is what I was wanting. Actually, kind of. We're going to glue on the sentiment strip and then trim again.
actually want it to look like it goes all the way to the edge. So we're just going to trim off the little end of that. And then glue the sentiment onto the card layer. And then glue the card layer to the card. And we will be done. Hip hippo hooray. And there we have it. Hip hippo hooray. Congratulations on whatever it is that you need a congratulations card for. There's a cute little hippo with the sentiment and another cute little hippo on the inside. I hope you enjoyed this and I will be back next Thursday around 2 o'clock Central Time and we will make the third card of the month which is the Christmas card using Hip Hippo Array and I think we will feature the lamb or the you at that point. I will see you then.